Let's paint baby Jacob. Here we go. I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non-artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Seriously, subscribe. It helps a lot. The drawing, the picture, and the sketch will be in the links below, so you can paint along with me. I like people, period. This is, for me, is a more... Um, Pretty realistic. For me, this is about as realistic as I get. I can't get any more realistic. Then my next one will be a girl and she will be much more vibrant, different. But you know, a lot of people, they just want to look like the person. I get that. So this is going to be a five part series. I've done three videos prior for getting prepared for the, the, the details. Eyes, ears, nose, and lips. Now this is the next basic step and it's maybe not what you're thinking about but I want you to work on the values of the face and the values of the hair. Really what you want to do to make it look like a person where there is a, a, a 3D image you want to really focus on the values. Babies who are Caucasian babies, we're going to keep it at a value one through five, except the darkest spots, which might be the, the eyes. This video is all about trying to get the facial values set up. Now, sometimes it's hard to determine. Sometimes there isn't a lot of value changes, but there's baby definitely has light on one side, dark on the other. Could be the opposite but you know what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna look at this at notarizer when it shows me dark it is not going to be black it will be probably about a five thereabouts so even though it looks dark it's not that dark but it just lets me know that that there's little increments of dark that this side is darker that side is lighter and so I'm working focus on that before I get the details which is the eyes the nose the lips as I'm doing this, I will do layers, blow dry, layer, blow dry, a lot more tedious than normally what I do. <laughs> but in order to get that really smooth wash without any issues, it's a really helpful thing. You have to be really quick, in particular in this area, which there's, there's no moisture in the air in St. George, you really got to put water, it makes a difference. So we're basically going to do T strength because we're just layering it up. One, two, three. And I try to keep it more than, no more than three or four layers. And that's my standard of what I do. I'm not one of the people, there are people that will put, you know, 25 layers on it. Gently, gently. And God, they make some amazing stuff, but I'm not quite that patient. Let's talk about hair. You know, hairs are a real problem. They make me crazy sometimes. So, okay, I'm looking at the hair, blonde hair. Let me tell you the, the trick. You use yellow, but you put a little bit of purple into it to calm it down because otherwise you get really weird color, hair colors, and it will look wrong. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. So, you're going to take any yellows, you know, whether golds, dark browns, I use all of it with just a little bit of purple. So right now I'm looking at the values of the hair. Well, there's a light, a medium, and a dark. So I am actually just going to simply get those values in. I'm not worried, oh, this is going this way and that's going that way. What I want to tell you, when you're ready to actually to do finish up the hair, you want to move the way the hair moves. So if I am, if the curl goes this way and that way, you want to paint this way and that way. 
If it goes behind, actually do that movement. And I actually do, I make try to make my brush do what the hair's doing as much as I can. I find hair hard. I don't think this is the easiest. I do have a video about it. Check it out. We're gonna go paint. All righty, are we ready for this? Yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna wet everything. Because you know what, where we live, it's very, 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 very dry. Okay. And you notice I'm, I'm doing it on both sides and it really makes a difference. Um, it gives you a lot more time. Um, let me get my colors ready. This first wash is going to be a very light skin tone and a little yellow for the hair. So I do have to get a lot, because I'm going to cover the entire face. I am going to pull out the eyes. And the only reason is because I want them blue, but it'd be easier if I do it this way. All right. You notice that I'm making messes as we're going? So I love my life. All I'm doing is just putting a really quick wash. Yeah, that didn't take long. I'm just going to get as quickly as I can just a little bit of, and I'm looking at the color. Yeah, I think that'll work. I could use a little more orange on, or a little yellow on that side, I think. And we know the row nose is always red. Okay, I didn't mean to hit that. Just gonna go like that, tap, tap. We know there's a whole bunch of red there. We're going to use a little light yellow on top of the teeth. See, right there. I don't think I got enough color up there. Can you see it? So I've got a little time yet. I can still make sure I get some color. I think I'm going to add a little more color here too. Because this is, much of this will not be covered afterwards. That's it. What you see is what you're going to get. All right. So I'm going to take a very light, just plain blue, and just pop it here and there. So I'm continuing to look at this and to see what I can assess what I can put in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and just throw some this kind of a, a greeny color, maybe a little blue on this. And so I'm letting all that blend in. I'm not saying, oh yes, it must be this or it must be that. The only thing I was a little bit careful, the eyes. And I just want a blue in there rather than a uh, skin tone. Oh, that got too dark. So I'm going to squeeze. There we go. Okay, I like that better. I actually want some of this in my hair too. <laughs> I'm going to move it. I got a little bit of time yet. I can still play a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get something in the background. Do not like it when I have, have no idea and magically I'm at the end and go, oh, uh-oh, should have done that. Well, what's, what am I supposed to do with that? I have no idea. And then I freak. I don't know if you guys do do that, but boy, I don't like it. This gives me a little bit of uh, comfort knowing that I already have a little color on it. It doesn't have to be pretty. So blow dry. And baby. Most of this is done. That will be the color. I'll keep it right there. So next ish is this shape right here. Here. Do you notice that this sh color goes right over there? Um, and so it's a weight, a, a really soft edge right there, which is lovely. I like that. I'm working on the values in the face. So I know that I'm going to leave that alone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on that side and I'm pretty much going to put water on that side. And this time, this side will lead dry. This side, I'll put water on it. And, and that's a real important thing because it allows me to have some soft edges. 
and I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to play around. I'm not going to be, you know, maybe I'll think about it. No, no, this is, you put it in there, get on with it. I'm going to make sure I have some water so it makes sure it bleds nicely. So all I'm doing is a shape. If I get the basic shape, it doesn't have to be perfect either. That's the funny part. It doesn't even have to be perfect. I just want to make sure that my edges are soft. Now let's see what's going on. Okay, that's pretty dark too, right here too. And I'm kind of looking to make sure that I don't have, have soft edges. I don't want it to be hard. And boom, I'm out of there. I want you, what, do, what did you see me do? I got in and out. I want soft edges. And here's one place that I, I don't have. I also, there's a little piece right here by his skin. And I'm just going to darken that just a little. Now, all right, it's starting to dry. And what's going to happen is, is it's going to immediately start having ugly things. So I'm just going to pause and I'm going to blow dry. I, I feel that this needs to be just a tad. Well, maybe I'll wait. I'm going to wait. Sometimes you get excited too soon and I get in trouble. Now I'm going to do this. See this shape? I'm just painting shapes. And so again, I'm going to put water. What do you think? That look pretty good? And you can see the line there. That's my big dark shape. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'm going to be kind of gentle with the ear and stuff. I don't want to really go too much deeper than that right there. And here. And the underneath is really dark. So basically, softening edges if I didn't get water in it. I don't want to get too dark. But now I'm being a little more thoughtful, but I'm still... And I didn't put water here, and you can see I'm getting a little hard line, so I don't like that. And this also is a dark shape. Now, I wonder if I'm going to have issues, because you can see that line. So I'm just going to kind of soften it out because um, I can see that that can give me grief. I see hard issues here. I'm just going to soften, soften. I definitely know I'm going to have to have a darker here. And I'm, Now there's no water there, so I'm just going to immediately soften it out. Your, your goal is to try to make this shape. And basically, I've got that shape. It's not perfect, but see, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. It just needs to be sort of there. Then we're going to start working on the hair. All right, let's talk about hair. When I'm looking at the hair, I'm seeing a shape. This is darker than that, but it's still light. This is medium. And that's dark. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually do the actual shapes. I'm not worried about, oh, here's a hair and it goes this way. I'm trying to get the shape in. If I got the shape in, all of it will come out. And then a few strokes and I will be jamming. Definitely want some of that, but it does need to be really toned down some. And a darker one with a little purple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this and I'm gonna put water on it. 
Hopefully there's not two. Okay, so there's light here, light here, light here, and then it kicks in over there. Okay, there's that shape. And I'm allowing it just to blend in because this really doesn't matter. Just I have a shape so I have an idea. Now this got darker right here. Okay, what's the next shape? It is darker yet. Now, I do not want that to be all hard. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just soften everything. And if it bleeds in a little bit, make messes, I don't care. Let's see what's going on. Oh, this is dark too, all the way over here. Boom! We're rolling. So, we're looking for light. And I can see that's not going to be dark enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and just throw in a little bit more. I'm gonna kind of clean this up at the edge, won't hurt anything. And all I'm doing is just scraping. And if I don't like that, I can come back through. And again, I can fix anything I don't want by playing on the outside. Since I'm right here anyway, work on the clothing. So as you can see what I'm doing is I work the big shapes before I go to the details. That's what I really want you to pay attention to. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. I need some kind of a, a green. I don't know. There's a green. Doesn't really matter what color it is. I'm trying to look. It's just a cute little green. Um, and to get a gray, I'm gonna mix this for that. And a little bit more cobalt blue. And you get this nice gray. And again, I am not doing a nice job. All I'm trying to do is a basic, oh yeah, this is that color, that's that color. See right here, I left a little open area. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put water right here. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and if a little bit tricks into his uh, thing, that's okay. I'm going to allow that. I really want this to be boring. I don't want you to pay attention to it. I don't want it to be, you know, just boring. I'm going to the picture. Here's what I want to know. Okay. This area of the hair, just look at this. It goes this way. I want to see, and then I really don't know what's going on here. There really isn't anything. Maybe a little bit there, somewhere that way. Then I can see this little shape. It goes this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. All right, this seems to go that way. There's quite a bit coming out that way. And what is the bottom doing? Well, this kind of looks like it's doing this. Kind of a movement that way. As I'm looking at this, I'm determining where do I need my brush strokes to go. I think it'd be easier if I put water on. So, you you know, if you're not sure, I'm going to tell you my 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 take on it of, wa of water is you can never go wrong with water. Back to color. Okay, then it looks like we go this way. And so I'm going to... And I'm going to soften some edges because I, I thought I had water and somehow it magically there's no water. I think I'm going to take a little bit darker and tap that. Now that goes that way, right? I'm kind of moving it. There's just... And I'm kind of following, trying to follow my line work. This is always fun. Hair is always a blast.
there's just a little movements. And, and I don't know yet what exactly I'm gonna do with all that. And you have little movements. And if I do it while it's wet, that will give me that feeling of, uh, oh yeah, you're going that way. <laughs> trying to figure the part is because right here it starts to move I'm gonna soften an edge soften an edge and some of it sticks out I'm fine with that there is some areas that are pretty dark actually think that we need to stop and we're going to finish this next week. Okay. Um, I just want you to try to make sure you get the shadows because every, here's what people do. So excited. They don't want to do this preliminary stuff. It's really important. So I think I'm going to take a little break. This part is done. It doesn't look finished because I don't have the features in it yet. But what I've done is I've really focused on the values because once the values are in, there'll be little adjustments, but it's pretty quick after them. But we're going to finish this up next week. And I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. Give me a like. There's a link below where you can get the drawing, the sketch, photo. I'll see you next week. This is going to be fun. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Bye.